Hello everyone, my name is Sergey and today we have a very interesting car. It's Toyota Tundra with V8 engine 5.7 and today I'm going to show you how to take the front cover and change the timing chain with all gates and attentioner, hydraulic attentioner. Uh, it looks like it's very hard job because uh, you need to uh, open almost all the engine but anyway uh, let's start to do it first I'm going to take out a radiator because I have more access from the front side to the engine this is why first I'm going to take the radiator we drain the coolant from the drain plug it's located in the down point and uh, Let's drain the coolant first. After we will take the fan, we need to unscrew four nuts which hold the fan. And uh, after we can take this fan shroud, we disconnect the hoses, upper hoses and lower hoses. And we have some mount balls from this corner and at this corner also. And after we can take the radiator up. I did unscrew the four bolts, four nuts, sorry, which hold our fan, but I cannot take it out because it's not enough room. This is why the fan with the fan shroud must come up together. This is why we unscrew two bolts, which actually hold our fan. The bottom side, there are just slight pin which goes to the radiator. This is why I just unscrew these two bolts and the fan shroud must come up with the fan together like this. It's a little bit tricky but there no other no other way. Here we go. Next I I'm going to disconnect and take out the battery because I need more access from the even from the side because we we will take the valve covers also because the front cover uh, tied to the valve covers and just just in case to if you can make more access just do it because it will help and uh, you will uh, you'll be able to access some uh, areas tight areas just in case i'm going to take the filter air filter box and the battery takes them out it's simple just 10 millimeter bolt nuts just lose the cable take the cable out all right I've got some parts out and we can see that we have much more access now because I pull the radiator and now we have pretty good access to work with our front cover. Also I took the battery out. Next step I'm going to take the valve covers. To take valve covers we need to disconnect all the wire harness and pull that all wires away also I need to disconnect some coolant lines which goes to the heater core this coolant lines will not let you pull the cover up this is why disconnect and pull away as much as you can and it will be much easier to take the cover let's do it I disconnect all these briefing hoses pull the clamp this is simple wire clamp move it up and be very careful because these hoses they are old and dry you might crack it this is why I use some special hook to pull it up the hardest things to disconnect this all wire harness to disconnect all these mounting clips because they are really really uh, the plastic is dry and really hard to disconnect some connector be very careful do not break it but after you disconnect them you get pretty 
pretty good access and uh, before you could say like wow it's a lot of work and a lot of things which bother you and doesn't let you to pull the cover out but now it looks much much better just the uh, hose the heater hose line left I going to disconnect this heater hose and pull it out and I have full access to lose all my 10 millimeters bolt around and pull the cover up it's going to be tricky tricky way to take it out I took all the bolts I left just one uh, in the middle I just want to keep them uh, closed until now, uh, for right now I don't want to open open the valve first and let a lot of dust go, go goes inside and uh, I'm working on front cover now and I recognize that our AC compressor our power steering pump and alternator mounted to the front cover we need to uh, disconnect the power steering alternator and move them away uh, a little bit to be able to move the cover toward to the front side and now I'm working on the AC compressor it's it's uh, mounted with the four bolts we take those four bolts out and just leave it hanging on the hose uh, we do not disconnect we do not uh, recharge the AC system this is why I just leave it move it away a little bit and leave it there and uh, after we will start to lose our crank pulley bolt this is this bolt it's really tight and we need to use special special key to hold the pulley okay anyway I will show you when I reach there let's take the all other things alternator power steering pump and uh, AC I got compressor off it just came off from the pin you can see the pins and now it doesn't bother us to take the cover uh, from the right side I disconnect the power steering pump and now I have access to those two bolts which hold our alternator it's 14 millimeter bolts and move the alternator away also after that just pulley crank pulley left and the all bolts which hold our cover to the engine yeah it's it looks like uh, not so easy like I saw but anyway we will take it out and you will see the old timing chain mechanism underneath this cover all right I did disconnect the alternator uh, I thought it was mounted just by two bolts, but it was mounted by four bolts. Two bolts goes to the housing, uh, to the front cover, sorry, and another two bolts goes to the engine block. I was surprised. It's really hard uh, to find them. One is down there. Uh, but uh, anyway, four bolts is out and alternator is out. Now we can try to lose our crank pulley but before I lose the crank pulley I'm going to take the cover valve cover off and uh, turn the engine I will be able to turn the engine before I lose it and uh, set the mark the timing mark and make sure the old timing mark are correct before I start the pull everything out uh, I do it just in case for myself just to be sure that everything was right before there no was a misalignment it was timing chain and uh, you you can just skip this step just take the pulley take the cover take the front cover and just change the change uh, chain but uh, I always check the marks before I take them out I already took out the central bolts I'm not sure about these sensors, but I'm going to take them out just in case they might hold the uh, cover somehow. The sensor somehow might attach the camshaft. Let's pull them out just in case. Here we go, one and another one. It was a good idea. To 
to take the sensors out because they was holding somehow to camshaft. And now, okay, I got it out. How they was holding the camshaft? Okay, in some specific position. But anyway, they shouldn't touch the camshaft. All right, I've got one cover out, and now I'm going to take another one. I'm going to use special tool to hold the pulley. Do not spinning. I hope it will work. Let's try. <laughs> oh, it's it's pretty tight. <laughs> Look what happened with my tool, guys. I just bend it, but it did work. I get it loose. I use some extension and finally it's it's loose now. It's pretty cool because sometimes it's paying us to lose it. But okay. I need to modify this tool, make it a little bit stronger. <laughs> but at least it worked. Welcome to the next day and I got this cover from cover out Okay uh, I use a simple screwdriver just to try it and uh, Pull it toward to the front side It's it comes out a little bit hard because it sits very tight at this uh, coolant tube with the o-ring seal and when you try to get it out, it, it feels like some bolt left there, which holds the cover. But prying with the screwdriver and uh, bending it left and right, left and right, I've got it out. I will show you the cover now. Here is the front cover. We have oil pickup line to oil pump, and this is outlet from the oil pump. This is main supply line which supply oil to the oil engine. We will change all these seals and all other area has no gasket and uh, it sits there just on silicon and uh, at this area it was uh, really you know it was leaking oil really bad and we are going to reseal all this cover, clean all the silicone and uh, put some new. Also I'm going to change the oil, all the chains. Look, you can see how loose they are. Because this vehicle has 200,000 miles already and uh, of course all the parts wear out. And chain also chain gates I will change everything I have all set here the all set the all gates hydraulic attentioners uh, between the camshafts and uh, from the crank to camshaft also we have four hydraulic attentioner we have four chains and we have two gear crank gear this is the all full set now I will show you how to align the marks who have this point you can see at the gear and we have the same point at the another gear also this point must be aligned with this black black point on, on the, at the chain and another one must be aligned at the cam gear I will show you now First, I'm going to lose this camshaft gears, variable gears, because we will pull them out anyway, because we change the chain between the camshaft gears also and attentioner. And after that, we take our gates. It's 12 millimeter bolts and 10 millimeter bolts, our hydraulic attentioner. And we, we can take them all out. To lose this bolt, we can use this simple open wrench 24 millimeter and we can put it right right there 
and camshaft will have special place to hold the camshaft and use a 17 millimeter socket and just lose it yeah you have to use special technique like like I do they're pretty tight okay let's here we go now we go to the left side okay I've got them loose now I'm going to take the hydraulic tensioner and the gates and after we can easy to take easy take the gears out Okay, I've got them out and uh, you can see this keyway at the camshaft. It means our gear has just one position. You cannot miss the position gear between the gear and the camshaft. And you don't have to use special tool. Sometimes you don't have any keyway and um, you have to use special tool to hold the camshaft in uh, straight and right position uh, but here we have keyways and uh, we need just uh, align the mark at the timing chain and the gear itself at that point and uh, that's all we need let's let's do it okay is just the hydraulic attentioner left it's 10 millimeter bolt I take them out and put the new ones. The new attentioner has a pin, lock pin, which keeps the attentioner in closed position. This is why it will be much easier to pull the gear with the chain when the attentioner is closed. It will not bother to pull the gears inside. And after you install the gear, you just pull this pin out and that springs inside the attentioner will open the attentioner and get the chain tight and also the oil pressure which goes inside the makes the chain more tighter while the engine is running another advice before you start to install all the chain mechanism I'm going to clean all the surface from the old silicone our cover sit on the silicone you know there are no gasket and uh, make sure wipe off all this oil because all this oil might leak to the surface contact surface and you know if you use silicone you need to use some spe special degreaser to make good contact and this oil might you know if might leak inside the surface it will be not really well this is why wipe this oil before clean all the surface and after we are ready to install the chain and now this is the most important part of this job to align the all our marks like I told before we don't have any marks on the engine block we have marks on, on our gears and on our chain we need to align our black color pin with our mark you can see right here we do the same with the bottom sprocket at the crankshaft we align the point with our black black section of uh, chain and we do the same at the crankshaft at the camshaft now we install this another gear another gear has also mark this is one groove this teeth this is our mark this teeth might must be right here at this point like this we install them like this and the very important thing is that we need to put all this setup together in one time 
you cannot put it separately it's a little bit not not comfortable not easy we install all our marks like this outside take it and put it inside the inside the engine together first we put the right side because uh, the right side goes inside and after goes the left side gear first we put install the right side and after we do the same with the left side we need to find the pin pin place twisted it left and right and it will slide right in it okay after I installed it I'm going to check all the marks one more time I check the marks on the cam gears first and they perfectly aligned you can see from here you can see the mark and you can see the b uh, black uh, chain uh, block and they perfectly aligned now I'm going to check at the crankshaft I'm going to use the mirror because it's uh, from the bottom side now the mark I mean and it also looks looks still there here we go you can see the mark and the our timing chain black piece right there they are aligned you can see I didn't even put the uh, attentioner with the uh, gate yet because it's much easier to work uh, you have more slack here we go now it jumped you see what happened? It jumped one piece. Now I need to, and it jumped right here. Yep, it jumped at the at the crankshaft. I'm going to lose it now and uh, jump it back. I'll show you how to, how to do that. I use the uh, 24 millimeter wrench and turn the crankshaft and give slack from this side. And I'm going to jump one piece. Here we go. Okay, I leave it in this position and don't move it. Check it one more time and after install the our attentioner with our gate. And you see what happened? It might uh, jump one piece. I'm checking one more time. Here we go. It's right there. I put it back. I check one more time here at the camshafts right right perfect now i'm going to put attention at with gate until it didn't jump one more time and we start to work with left side there's specific torque to all these bolts but especially for this small one i can i use <laughs> my feeling how much power how much torque should i put on it i just see what kind of material the thread uh, the bolt goes in if it's aluminum I see the bolt size and I can decide myself what kind of torque should I put on these bolts of course there are some specs I will write below in comment about all these bolts and nuts and you can use the torque range I will use definitely torque range for the camshaft and torque them in right specs okay it's ready and now even with the attentioner it's still loose and we pop this clip which hold attentioner closed and it will it will tight here we go I got it out and it just opened that's it done now we start work with the left side and you can see how oil leaks still leaks you see this is why I was talking about wipe it before wipe all this oil do not get situation like like this when you put some silicone and after the oil when you ready to close the cover front cover the oil start leaking and <coughs> in this area 
the connection between the cover and silicone will be not really great and it might leak after that this is why be sure when you close the cover no oil leaking at this surface contact surface i'm going to show you some technique if you don't wanna put them all together like all three gears must be aligned and in one time push in the engine uh, you can put them separately i will show you some technique how to do that for me it's easier to put all them together you know but you can do it separately uh, here is just one problem why you, it's harder to do separately because you cannot slide through between the gears the chain after you install separately the cam gears i already installed cam gears on the left side i aligned these marks right right here and right there and uh, now i'm going to take out the spin here we go attentioner a little bit opened now to be able to slide the chain between this gap we need to uh, spin the camshaft until this you see this cut area we need to spin we have from the both sides we need to spin camshaft to get this cut area right here between the gears in the middle and now we get more gap and we will be able to slide our chain this is what I'm going to do now but after we install the chain we will turn it back to get this uh, gear on the keyway and uh, it's the same things we align our mark at the camshaft with chain and we align our mark with the gear at the crankshaft I did turn them and uh, you can see now I can slide the chain between this gap and uh, I'm going to put this gear <coughs> the second cam gear this also is a oil pump follower this gear spin the oil pump which installed in the cover and uh, we don't have to worry about the mark right now the we will jump after first we need to align mark at the camshaft and after we will uh, align at the gear itself the crank gear okay i just throw it in now i need to find here we go this is our mark you can see right here okay i slide it in yeah, but I, I need to slide and I need it slide it, but I forgot to jump it over the gate. Here we go. I did it. Now this mark aligned perfectly. Here we go. And uh, now we can align this mark. The chain has pretty good slack, and we can just jump it. Here we go. Now I can turn it around until, until I catch the mark right here. It's not aligned now, but I need to jump it several times until I find our mark is right here now. Chain lock is right here, black color. I need to turn it 180 degrees. Yeah, the chain is pretty loose and you can do it easy. Okay, now this mark is aligned also this is a point you can see it's aligned and now we need to we need to turn our camshaft to get the gear over the keyway because the gear has also just one position connected with the connect with the crankshaft and uh, between the gear and crankshaft a keyway you can see it i took it out this one this one holds the pulley and now i need it doesn't go inside you see i need to turn the crankshaft i take the 24 millimeter wrench and keep going here we go here we go i got it now it's in i turn it until i until it reaches the place and i pull it inside now i'm going to install the gate 
and let the tensioner go. What happened? Again. <laughs> it jumped. Okay. Now I need to find... Uh, usually jump the, this bottom side. You sh shouldn't worry about the crank crankshaft side. But anyway, I will check it one more time. Yeah, it's still there. Now I need to find the my pin again. Turn it around and do it one more time. Here we go. Take it out. My pin. Here's my mark. You just jump it several times. Okay, again, I got it. This is our mark. Aligned again. And we do the same, the same procedure. Here we go. It's right there. Now I need to tight this way, and I need to install the gate now. For some reason, this side doesn't work so well. I need to slide like this, probably. need to use <coughs> very weird technique to get it done. Here we go. Now it's in. Before I take the pin out from the tensioner, I'm going to check one more time all my marks. They should be perfectly aligned. And now after that I can I can take it out. I use the mirror again to check the mark because it's from the bottom side now. Shit, and it jumped one piece. Now I need to jump one piece back. I use again my wrench and I need to get it loose from this side and jump one piece. But now I cannot do it. Because it's not not loose enough. I need to take the tensioner out again. Jump one piece. Here we go. And after that, install it one more time. Here we go. It's in. Okay, again, before I take the clip out from the tensioner, I need to check again the all our marks. I use mirror again. Where is my mirror? Where is my mirror? And I'm going to check the mark one more time. And now I can see the mark is in the right position. And our chain is in the right position. Now I can take out this clip. <laughs> Here we go. It's ready. Now I go in one more time. Check all the marks. And I'm going to tight the, uh, our variable gear. Okay. I am using the torque wrench. And we tied the camshaft gear with 70 foot pound torque. And we tied the crankshaft pulley, the big bolt with the 130 foot-pound torque. I'm going to hold it with wrench again. Ready. One more time. Okay, it's ready. Uh, I recommend to spin engine two times. Uh, just make sure nothing goofy and wrong going on. But I'm sure everything is fine. I always do before I take everything out. I do small, small my own marks just in case. Uh, all a lot of mechanic doesn't like it, but it's nothing wrong with it. I didn't hurt i didn't break anything i just did small my own marks and uh, i feel myself much more safe safer when i do like this 
and uh, you uh, shouldn't be shame when you tell, tell, tell people that you do your own mark before you <laughs> take the timing chain or timing belt from any engines uh, okay it's ready and now uh, I'm going to seal all the cover around and put the cover back I'm going to change the front cover with new oil pump and water pump and um, I cleaned all the surface and used gray silicone I put silicone from for both sides for the cover and uh, for the engine also and uh, I put some more silicone at this area where is head cylinder head connected with the engine block I put a little more because they are not perfectly parallel surfaces and there are some step you know to cover that step I put some more silicone at this area and now I'm ready to uh, put the cover I change all the seals this is outlet seal from oil pump this is a pickup oil seal to the oil pump I align our pump teeth with our sprocket you can see there one just one position you can push it in if you turn it like a little bit it will not go in we need to find out which position stay gear at the crankshaft and put similar position and after they all align and you can move it in We'll put some lubricant at the o-ring seal which goes to the water pump to the coolant system to just to slide it easier inside now push the cover in Make sure your wall pump is aligned. Now we can see it's not aligned because it's not in the center. It means I need to turn the oil pump a little bit more to catch the teeth. Okay, our, our cover is in. And now I'm going to install all the bolts around and uh, tight them. I will not tight them immediately. I will let the silicone dry a little bit and after that I will tie the cover it will be sealed much better if I if I do it because when silicone is soft you if you tie it immediately it will throw it outside from the old perimeter but I will let it dry maybe for 30 minutes and I will tie it later look how quick I put all this <laughs> equipment back together the old front side is done, the radiator in, in the place. Now I'm going to put the cover, valve covers. I'm going to use some silicone at this uh, connection just to seal it, uh, seal it better. Just clean it, use some degreaser or uh, spe special like fluid acetone or even brake, brake cleaner. Just clean it, use some silicone and uh, you're ready to put the covers i did change all the seals all the seals we have the hole this is supply oil to the vvt system to the solenoids and it's very important to change the seal because the old one was not uh, very good condition this is why i just change all of them i forgot to tell you just pour some oil over the chain because I didn't didn't oil it before because I was cleaning the surfaces and when you have oily chain it's really hard to clean surfaces but now you can just pour some oil it will throw around and it will lubricate the gates it will be enough for just for the beginning and after the lubrication from the oil from the engine oil it's lubricate itself
dry. We put everything back together. I put coolant in it, and uh, now I just going to going around and just make sure I put everything back, and I did not forgot any hoses or you know the fuel lines. Here we go. I, I connect the fuel lines. Okay, I connect the briefing hoses. All right, now I'm ready to start it. Let's see how it how it runs. You could hear some noise from the beginning because the oil tensioner, hydraulic tensioner, they empty, they out of oil. But now when the oil pressure and oil goes in it, they get tight and all the mechanism get tight. Now it's quiet and runs, runs really well. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed my uh, work and uh, you learned something new about the uh, V8. Toyota V8 engine and I'm sure you'll be able to do it yourself. You need some tool and uh, uh, you need some time and uh, I hope the all step by step which I showed in this video will be helpful and useful for you. I wish you good luck guys and uh, see you next time. Next time and uh, yeah do not forget to subscribe my channel. Do not miss another video. Bye.